Hello and welcome everybody to the Phoenix and Glitchy Talk Shit Show. We have a extremely controversial topic today that will definitely piss people off. And you know what? You can fucking deal with it because we have seen this shit just like you have. Now, before I go too deep into today's topic, I just want to do a disclaimer here and just say that I have nothing against bisexual people. I know bisexuals exist. I have friends that are bisexual. And frankly, the fact that bisexual people get such crap in the media... Is bullshit. Is bullshit. But... There is a difference between being actually bisexual and pretending you're bisexual to please others. And and this is... this. I'm not in, just okay. Today's topic is as many of you have seen on various news sites, which now, pissed us off royally last yeah, night just, because we had oh. already fucking discussed making this video because we already knew the truth. Everybody knows the truth. Um, if you don't know the truth, you are either blind, you don't know who the fuck this person is, or you're dumb. Or you're Amish. There's that too. Um. But the topic for today is the fact that YouTube star, Shane if you Dawson. could call it that, if you could call it that, Shane Dawson comes out as bisexual. What? Okay. Let's let's stop and take a minute. The bisexual. first time, the first time I ever saw this asshole open his mouth, I knew he was a fucking dick loving gay man. Okay. And he was a fucking top, as William says, because it has two syllables, which means you're actually a motherfucking bottom. Yeah, if you have to say, I'm a top, with two syllables, you're not a top, okay? Exactly. Just, let's just not kid yourself here. Um, and the fact that Shane Dawson, for years, has been making jokes about teaching people how to give blowjobs. And with Trisha Paytas... Blonde Sundal or whatever the fuck her name is, he does in fact do a series of videos where he literally deep throats bananas and hot dogs without damaging said food objects in any way, shape, or form. I'm sorry, that is a man who takes some fucking dick sucking to the next level. And I don't I, just mean that he's bi. Him coming out and saying he's bi, bullshit. I'm pretty sure him coming out and saying he's bi is for one of two reasons. But before I go into that, I'm pretty sure his farts don't make a sound anymore. Because I'm sure his asshole's about that fucking wide. <laughs> um, but... His asshole's as wide as he used to be fat. And yeah, that's gonna be controversial and that's gonna piss some people off. Yeah. But again, I don't fucking care. I think this is bullshit because, as we've stated... There have been multiple incidences where this motherfucker talks about taking dick and sucking dick and he constantly fucking does all these videos with Joey Graceffa and specific people related to Joey Graceffa, not Tyler Oakley or anything like that. But he does all these videos where he talks about sucking dick and taking it in the ass and making out with these guys and all this other shit. And I'm like sitting here and the first fucking video I ever saw from him was him talking about... He was actually doing a collaboration with Joey Graceffa and talking about fucking and sucking dick. And I'm pretty, sh pretty sure, became fairly sure, which became pretty, I'm fairly sure that it was the canned food challenge. Now. And when I can't tell the difference between your voice and a fucking teenage girl, I'm sorry, dude, you've got that fucking whole thing going on. It's obvious. Now, let me, let, let me read an excerpt from the article that I read that really royally pissed me off and leads me, and leads me to one of the reasons I think this is all a stunt. Mm -hmm. The article says, in the video, because Shane Dawson came out in a YouTube video, as is happening really fucking frequently, and I'm sorry, just, but that uh, seems just like too much bandwagoning for my fucking tastes. Yes, I get yeah. that there are a lot of fucking homosexuals in the world. And that's fine. That's great. But when it becomes the only thing that everybody's fucking doing is coming out, I'm honestly, like, I'm half expecting Markiplier and, like, Jacksepticeye and fucking Felix, uh, PewDiePie, to come out with how many people and, have been doing it. And in my opinion, you're kind of setting back our movement because... You're making it into a novelty? Yeah, and that's definitely not oh, something... Oh, look. 
Oh, look, Joey Graceffa has a coming out video. Oh, and then look. every single video he's made ever since has pretty much been about the fact that he's gay or has gay in the title or has dick and ass in, like, all these other clickbait titles. And I'm just sitting here like, seriously? We're, we're not a sideshow to be clickbait on. Exactly. We're not a... We're, we're not a, a, a novelty. But what really irritated me about this Shane Dawson situation is this sentence right here. In the video, Dawson notes the difficulty in accepting himself as bisexual. At one point, he says that it would be easier for him if he was either gay or straight. I'm Hold sorry. the fucking phone. Are you fucking okay. kidding me? To be entirely honest, I went to a period where I was in denial about my sexuality. And instead of saying that I was gay, flat out, I was... I accepted that I was bisexual because that was easier. I'm sorry, but you saying that it's easier, it would be easier if you were either gay or straight, shits on every gay kid in America who thought, I wish that I was something different. Exactly, and I, I myself, I, was bisexual. I myself, for the longest time, identified as being bisexual because it was easier. It gave me less shit, it gave me less drama, and. I thought that I I thought that I did like women as well in a sexual fashion. And there are other factors that lead into this, but I did think that I liked women in a sexual faction, fashion until I actually, you know, became physically intimate with a few different females. And I found it wasn't for me. Now, let me <laughs> let me say this. Reading that and watching Shane Dawson's video about this, because yes, I did watch it. I haven't. Um, I don't want to be too, that fucking angry. <laughs> I, I watched it because I didn't want to do this video until I had seen it. That's true. I should have but, done, I watched it too. But and and this may be a two part video. We may like we may do this come first back on it thing and then discuss it more at length. Um, but honestly, I think there's one of two reasons. That Shane Dawson did this video. Mm -hmm. Because I don't believe... There's about 35% of me that possibly believes that it's possible that he's actually bisexual. The rest, I'm pretty sure he's just flat out gay. Because... The signs the are he, there. The way he acts, the way he speaks, the way he fucking continuously talks about sucking dick. The way, the way that he came out... Mm. Leads... To me that it's only one of two things either to gain attention on youtube or it seems like it might be a cop-out to hide the fact that he's gay yeah. because i did it i wasn't ready to face it and you know what that i i shouldn't have i should have been honest with myself and that's on me and maybe he's not ready to face it or maybe he's intentionally Disregarding the truth. If he's intentionally but, disregarding the truth, then that's a massive problem. Not only for hi, hi, the women he's interacted with, but for the homosexual, gay, lesbian, transgender, bisexual community at large. Yes, and what makes me mad is that if he is not bisexual, if on some off chance he actually is bisexual, good. Good for him, because bisexual people get a lot of shit, and I understand that, and I know that a lot of people will probably give me shit for giving him shit, because... Oh, people oh, definitely give us shit, but... Bisexual people have it so hard. You know what? If he's not bisexual, then he is doing an injustice to every woman he is, he is with and has ever been with. And he is doing a disservice he, to the bisexual community. Because he, it is not fair to them, or to himself, to in, engage in a relationship that he is not mentally and emotionally properly invested in. And frankly, it's just not healthy. It's not. Because if he's not accepting himself... Okay, how can, how can maybe, he have other people accept him? And, and here's the thing. And on some degree, maybe this is a stepping stone to him accepting himself. Because before, he identified as totally straight, and I'm sorry, but nobody believed it. Um, 
Nobody. And maybe, maybe him saying he's bisexual makes him feel more comfortable and will lead to him accepting that he is gay if he is, in fact, gay. But he needs um, to think about the consequences of this, though. He should have thought about the consequences because of the fact that he is a YouTube star, quote-unquote, and he is in the public eye massively, and he influences a lot of fucking people of a lot and, of different and, ages. And honestly, when I realized I was in one relationship with a woman, one, during the period of time where I thought I was bisexual, but when I realized that that was not accurate, that I was actually gay, and that I had been lying to myself, I broke it off immediately. Mm -hmm. And that's back when you were in like because, high school. Yeah. Because it wasn't fair to her, and it wasn't fair to me exactly. to live a lie, and to make her live a lie. Because she deserved to find somebody who was sexually, emotionally, mentally interested in her on all levels. And I, I deserved finding someone that I was emotionally, mentally, and sexually attracted to. Exactly. All the way around. Perfect. So, Go ahead. I'm less... At first, I was angry about the whole Shane Dawson thing because I have a, a huge problem with Shane Dawson, um, and, and to some degree, this does make that worse. But I'm also kind of—I also kind of see a little bit of—I <laughs> hate to say this—I also oh, kind of see a little bit of myself in him. No, because if he is indeed. Going through that accepting yourself, period. I can identify with that. I can understand and, that, but he shouldn't have fucking made a video coming out as bisexual. He shouldn't have publicized this. I feel like yes. this is a massive publicity stunt. And a lie. And, and if it is a massive publicity stunt, then he's a fucking asshole. He's a scumbag he if this is just a publicity stunt, and he needs to yeah. sit the fuck down. And if this is an out and out lie... Then he's an asshole. He's fucking but over so many people if this is a lie. I would like to think, because I try to see the, the good in people. Um, I give a I, lot I, of shit. I would like to think that he thought about this a while before he did it. I would like to think that he did some soul searching before he created this video and posted it. And that he is in tune with himself enough to know. And if he isn't, and it was a mistake, I hope that he makes a video and says, you know what, I'm sorry, I'm gay. I'm not bisexual. Um, I made a premature video. You know, I shouldn't have. And, and if he did, you know, if that happens, then I, I would be less inclined to be upset with him over it. Because Maybe. he tried to make it right. Um, but if this is one massive publicity stunt... Then, then honestly, the tiny speck of respect that I have for Shane Dawson will burn in hell. And I will be validated because my dislike of him will be completely. Oh, don't get me wrong. Whatever the uh, word is, I can't even think right now. I'm so angry. Don't get don't get me wrong. Justified. Uh, there we go. Don't get me wrong. My giving him the benefit of the doubt does not make me like him anymore. Right. Honestly, I still don't fucking like him because of the way that he does shit and intentionally baits his fans and... This goes back into the whole clickbait thing. Yeah. He he started a lot of the shit. And frankly, I don't know. There's just something about him that's fucking shady and I just don't like it. There's something um, just... Something about him just rubs... Pe a, the, the thing is, a lot of people like to bandwagon on the internet and go with the flow to seem like they're cool if there's something popular but then there's also the people like us who don't give a fuck about looking cool or being popular or you know biting our tongues i'm sorry i'm sick of biting my fucking tongue shane dawson you're a fucking gay guy you're a homosexual and it's fucking obvious and it's been obvious since the day i first fucking met you and i'm sorry when i have to make sure that you're not like a justin bieber family member like like you're not his sibling or something there's a fucking problem because that little bitch already looks like a little girl. 
Even with all his fucking tattoos and all his fucking muscles. Fuck you, Justin Bieber. You brought her on yourself. I hate your ass. And can I just give an example? There was a fucking senator or state representative of some kind here in the U.S. who came out as gay. He had a wife of 15 years or some shit like that. Four kids. And I'm fairly sure possibly had another one on the way. And suddenly he comes out and he's gay. That okay. not only fucks over him, it fucks his wife. It fucks his kids in the ass. It fucks everybody. And it just made, let, let, it, let, it literally brought on this revolution of stronger hate towards gay people, towards homosexuals of any kind, that they just ruined all marriages and that they were all liars and all this other shit. And all this other fucking shit was brought on because this guy couldn't fucking be true to himself. Now, now let, let me play devil's advocate for a moment, because I see a giant hole in what you just said. What did I say? There's a giant hole in that, because he is a senator, correct? Is, was, I think he stepped down. Okay. After he that came out itself, on public television. That itself is the reason why he didn't come out sooner. I understand that, because, but... Because, listen to me. All right. Yes, he fucked over his wife. Yes, that's fucking wrong. But that has been going on for years. I know. And it is because, it is because people give shit to the people in any kind of career. Will fire you, make you resign if you try to come out. So if you want to have any kind of career and be a stable human being with a stable income and a stable home and a family, then you have to either A, sell out like he did mm -hmm. or you're pretty much fucked because if you come out... Yeah, I know. And, this, and I think this, that's this bullshit is, as well. It's completely fucking hideous. And it is, but you cannot put all of the blame on him. I don't put all the blame because... on him, but I do say that he pisses me off. And I know it came across as I was putting the blame on all on him, but I do think that society as a whole is fucking full of shit for doing this and for making this man has to do this. But at the same time, I feel like he should have stopped having kids with her and, you know... <laughs> on the other hand, you also don't know how their home dynamic is. Maybe shit. she knew... And maybe she wanted to have kids, and he wanted to have kids, and they, it was just a way for them to have a family. Maybe that's their arrangement. My we don't know. There's a whole, off. you know, there's a whole lot we don't know. But I, I firmly believe that there is, society itself is to blame. I agree. In fact, you know, I, I feel like. I have to step like, away for a second, so I'm going to turn off my webcam, but I will be continuing recording, so go ahead. There is a county clerk in Texas um, I was reading about today that is gay. He came out as gay, and he has been officiating marriage licenses and doing all of his duties to the best of his ability and is has a very high approval rate amongst the communities that he is oversees. But he is campaigning early to get the word out because since he came out, he is concerned that other political members will ask him to step down because of his sexuality. So he is trying to get the awareness out that he is just like any other person in office, that he is trying to do his job to the best of his ability. So society, there, there's, a, <laughs> there's a problem there. And going back to the Shane Dawson thing, I feel like the fact that any male or female that is gay or lesbian that feels like they have to hide from who they are, from that aspect of themselves, if your parents make you feel that way, like you have to hide, like you're less than somebody else, if your school makes you feel that way, not necessarily other kids, because kids are just assholes. They're just going to be dicks. You, you just got to, you know, try to deal with the bullying as it comes. Bullying is a horrible thing. And, and it is. And I will 
there'll be another video about that. But if if by chance Shane Dawson had a hard time dealing with his sexuality and he feels like he had to hide it, then I blame society for it because it's encouraging kids and teenagers and adults to hide that part of themselves, even though gay people and lesbians and bisexual people and transgender people are beautiful people. We are all beautiful just the way we are. We are all beautiful as human beings. We all have something to offer. I don't care if you're 16 and you don't have your life planned out yet. Or if you're 25 and you still live at home, but you're trying your best to make a life for yourself and it's just not happening. You, you have value to the world. And it shouldn't take somebody who we all knew like Dick to make you feel validated. Because in the second Shane Dawson opened his mouth, I knew. I'm gay. You know, and, but I, I don't I wouldn't have to be. Because when you start talking to me about or talking in a video about sucking dick and teaching Asian women how to suck dick and teaching you know and when you start deep throating bananas and you know, all that kind of stuff that you're hiding something and you're not fooling nobody. I'm sorry, it's not. You know, I, I, I just, I feel bad for the people that have to hide. And if it does turn out that Shane Dawson has concealed any of this from himself or from anybody you know, through this video, I will be beyond angry because I struggled with it, but I ultimately came to terms with it and made good on the mistake that I had made. I apologized to the woman that I had dated and said, you know what, I wasn't man enough to believe it yet. I, I wasn't in the right frame of mind to understand myself. I wasn't in the right frame of mind to handle what my my life was meant to be. And I was afraid of how the religious community that I was in would react. And I think that's bullshit. I mean, the, the communities Community is supposed to be just that, a community, a safe fucking place for people to live and exist. And the fact that there's so much stigma still in 2015 against homosexuals. I'm sorry, when the Romans had it right the first time around, allowing and even celebrating homosexuality, and then religion comes along and just kind of fucks it all up, and other factors and whatnot come along and just fuck it all up for everybody... I'm sorry, that's no longer a community. That is a fucking dictatorial fascism that needs to be put to rest and it should have never came about in the first place. But you know what? Humans are, are fucking weak. And it just continues well, and they go with what's easy and they go with hating people that they don't understand instead of learning about them because hating is easier than fucking, you know, actually putting forth effort to get to know somebody. And, and honestly... One of two responses happens. We fear what we don't understand, which leads to us hating it, or we accept it and... And acceptance you is know, still too low. And acceptance takes time, especially with as many people that have been indoctrinated by the Christian... By, by churches, period. Muslim, Christian, you know... Any fucking any faith. Radi any radical faith. Any faith whatsoever that makes it okay to hate on other religions, to hate on other sexualities, is wrong. No matter what your little books say, no matter what you think, God, God, goddess, whatever fucking deity you believe in or don't believe in, did not write these 
pieces of paper, okay? They have been translated and retranslated and changed and edited and made into different things than uh, what they originally began. And this all goes back to, I'm sorry, do you believe that you're going to hell if you've got a tattoo? Are, are you burning tattoo shops? And no, I'm not fucking telling you to burn tattoo shops. If you do that, you're an asshole and you're dumb. I'm not telling you to go attack or continuously, you know, listen to the bullshit in the Bible because I'm sorry. I'm not really gonna, you know, sit here and believe that it's okay to stone a woman if she's near a man when she's on her period. I'm sorry. I have a vagina. My uterus works. I'm sorry to those women who don't have it. But at the same time, I'm not sorry because, girl, you are lucky. You don't have to deal with the pain. And you don't have to buy the pads. But those women out there, like me, who do have it and who have it bad. I'm not going to fucking stay away from my boyfriend or the community at large. Because you know what? I can walk outside and not get stoned. This cherry picking of different bullshit and hate when all you guys want to do is sit there and spew and say this crap that your religion or your deity promotes love. No, you don't. No, they don't. You're making well, them hate. And, and here's the thing. These original faiths these are, these original faiths. Did, did preach love. And but people... Yet, have perverted it. Pe people and have turned it into a hate mongering thing. And it's been and a hate mongering thing from the start, though, to a degree. Because I mean, the the enslavement of the Jews, the fucking, you know, killing of. What I'm what I'm saying is, what a... if you look at it at face value with what the Bible says, it's it preaches peace and love. Through but the when the threat of going to hell and fear of a god, well, a higher power. Well, yes, but the idea behind it is to try to get, you know, love thy neighbor and that sort of thing. Just don't but love him I, too much. <laughs> well, and he, but here's the thing: I would be willing to bet that more people would go to hell for hating on other people for things they have no control over than I'm going to go to hell. For loving another man. Exactly. Um, we're you know, gonna, we're gonna have to end the video here because my stove's going off again. The timer's up. Well, and... okay. This this is pretty much um kind of that was my one. thoughts. Well, not really, because I mean we got way off topic. Well, but, we did. Um, that that was pretty much my thoughts on Shane Dawson's coming out video. We'll probably do another more detailed. video soon. A more detailed video soon. Once Glitchy watches it, and I watch it again. Um, and then we watch it together. We'll watch it together, and that's where we'll... We'll do more research. Stuff. But, um, thank you for... Watching. For watching. Hopefully not too many people got offended, and if you did, oh well, at this point. Oh well. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of... Um, I'm not a fan Shane... of pretending to be something I'm not. Well, I'm not a fan of Shane Dawson, so I don't have... The fan goggles on that cloud my judgment. This is I'm true. This is true. just going to say how I feel, and I'm not going to apologize for it. So, so, you know, if if you're not happy with what we said, then I'm, you know, it is what it is. It is what it but is. Thank, you thank almost you. said I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, th Deal thank with you it. for watching. Thank and you. And bye. Subscribe and yeah, bye.